Wildflowers provide a great ground cover for gardeners who want low maintenance plants. These easy to grow wildflowers can be started from seed or transplants and do not require pesticides, fungicides, or excessive chemical fertilizers. Also, you won't have to worry too much about overwatering or amending the soil because they can survive in less than ideal conditions. Here is an assortment of the top-rated wildflowers that require zero maintenance. Number one, aster. The native aromatic aster, with its vivid bluish-purple flowers, is a welcome sight in the fall, when most other plants are winding down for the season. When the leaves are clipped or crushed, they release a pleasant scent. Ground coverings made from aromatic aster plants are particularly hardy, making them ideal for rocky soil or slopes prone to erosion. It typically reaches a height of one to two feet, but can become as tall as three feet. Asters are hardy between zones three to eight. Number two, blanket flower. Spectacular blanket blooms last a long time and bloom profusely in a sunny area. Blanket flowers can be deadheaded if desired, although it is not required. In climate zones three through eight, blanket flowers can thrive. Number three, wild blue flax. Since these blooms don't spread aggressively like many others do, you can mix them together with tamer varieties to achieve a more natural look. Blooming in late spring or early summer, wild blue flax can reach a height of up to two feet. They are drought tolerant and self-seeding in the right conditions. Unlike the cultivars, which typically only live for one year, wild blue flax is a perennial. Wild blue flax may be grown successfully in climate zones five to eight. Number four, Eastern Red Calumbine. The Eastern Red Calumbine is a native plant that is just as beautiful as the more flashy artificial varieties and will bring hummingbirds to the yard. In the fall, when the soil is colder naturally, sprinkle seeds on the surface. The deer resistance of plants at the three foot height is an asset in suburban and rural yards. These plants flower in the middle of spring and can be cut down to the ground when their blooms have faded. This wildflower can thrive in climates ranging from zone three to eight. Number five, Maximilian sunflower. Although the Maximilian sunflower's eight-foot blossoms aren't as eye-catching as their hybrid annual cousins, they still make quite a statement towards the very back of the flower bed. Early October is when the Maximilian sunflower blooms and its oil-rich seeds help birds bulk up for the cold season. Even if you can't afford to buy soil additives, you can still grow it in rocky or clay soils. It self-seeds easily in the garden, just like other sunflowers. This plant is hardy in zones four through nine. Number six, candy tuft. If you have children who are just getting into gardening, annual candy tuft is a great choice because of how quickly it spreads. Since seeds sprout best when exposed to light, simply rake them into the top layer of soil. These plants are ideal for the rock garden since they flourish in arid and alkaline conditions. Zones three through eight may be suitable for this plant's growth. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.